Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a soft half cup crease. I don't know how you explain it but I've done like a half cup but I've not done it like as a cut. So it's kind of similar to what I did the other day where I did the soft glam look um, but just not like that at all. That don't make sense does it? Anyway if you would like to see how I did this please keep watching. <laughs> So I'm going to go in with the BH Cosmetics Take Me To Brazil palette and I'm going to go in with this tealy turquoise blue shade here and I'm taking that on a, what are you, Kit Stars N30 Small Tapered Brush. So I'm loading my brush up and then I'm just going to pat it on the outer corner. Now for the start of this look I'm patting it on my actual eyelid. And that's all I'm doing at the start. And then what I do, as I start to do it, as I'm building it up, I'm slowly going to push it out a bit more. So like I'm getting here and I'm slowly, but I'm using the shape of the brush and the shape of my eye socket to give me that curve. Can you see that I've tried to do here? And I'm gonna stop like around this area because then I'm gonna go in with a lighter colour. And once I've got my colour on, and I then go back in to build up that pigmentation, I'm using the shape of my brush just to stamp it round. So it's kind of like a C shape that I want to do. And going into the lighter shade that's next to it, this light blue shade here. This is a Luxie Small Tapered Blending Brush. I'm going to take some of that and I'm going to pop it next to it and just wiggle it about. I'm taking that a bit further in, not into totally, um, just sort of stopping like here. Um, I just want to get that colour in. And as you can see from this side, it pretty much gets all blended away anyway. Um, but I just need to have that colour there. And then I'm going to merge those two together. And then taking a little fluffy, blend, a fluffy blender brush, I'm going to run it along the edges. Because I don't want to add any more shades. I want it to just be those two shades, but I want them to be more blended so this is just gonna soften the edges and sort of soften the blue um, and then I can go in with a bigger blending brush just to then soften that edge all the while try to keep that rounded shape a big spectrum brush Right, and then I'm going to go in with the Beauty Bakery, um, it's an ice cream, it's just a cream base. Now, normally you do this with a base, like, like your concealer or summer, um, but I wanted to try if this works because I really liked the colour. This is um, Soiree Parfait, I think that's how you call it, I don't know if you can see the colour. But it's got like a pink with a, oh, it's, a it's a pale pink with a pink shift, I, don't, I can't describe it. But I thought it would be a really nice base to bring out the purple in it. It didn't work the greatest, but I'm not mad at it. I think it, it did its purpose. Um, I just had to build it up a bit more than I would with a concealer, but I'm not mad about that. So you can see that um, the shadow's all the way down there, and I'm not taking any of that off. I'm literally packing this cream base all over it. And this is just a Miss Q, a random Miss Q brush that I got off eBay. I just like the shape of the brush. Going back in, this is what I mean about the the, the eye base. Um, I have to go back in a bit more than I would with um, a concealer, but I think it adds to it. And then if you saw my soft glam look where I um, buffed out the concealer to make a softer cut, it's kind of the same principle of that, but I am going to take it like quite far out, um, but not with like loads of product. So I'm slowly going to start blending it out and it doesn't matter 
too much about the shape but try to be like consistent with the shape um, I went a bit ski whiff on this one that's why it's not as rounded as I wanted it but I'm gonna work with it so I've cleaned my brush off of any excess products and now I'm gonna start dragging what's already there right up and you'll see that I'm going right here as well and this is what I mean I always get a bit excited at this bit Right, so that's how it's looking now. It looks a bit crazy, I know, but trust the process because to be honest, it weren't until I actually finished that I thought, yes, this has come together. I literally was thinking, I've totally messed this up. Anyway, I'm going to use two shades from Makeup Geek. These are foil shadows. Pale pink is the whimsical shade and this pale purple is, or like lilac, is Daydreamer. And I, um, I'm going to put the purple on first. So I'm going to load my brush with Daydreamer, which is that lilac shade, and I'm going to place it in the centre and pack that shade on. Even on this outer bit here. Same brush, I'm just cleaning off the purple side, flipping it round, because if you can see it's flat. This again is just a cheap one off eBay, it's a Miss Q one. They're actually really good brushes um, for stuff like this. And I'm gonna cover my brush in the pink whimsical shade and I'm putting this on the inner corner right up and where they meet I'm just sort of going to wiggle it I'm just sort of going to wiggle it I'm just going to wiggle it just so they're gelling together and then back into the Brazil palette and back in with that first teal shade I'm just gonna dab it on this outer corner and I know I'm going over the turquoise, it, I know I'm going over the purple but it doesn't matter. We kind of want that. No additional product and back in with the brush that I used for the purple. I'm just gonna tap over that edge. I'm gonna go in with a tiny little bit of this dark blue here. Just to deepen up. It won't really make much of a difference, it's just more to add a shadow. And then going back in with the turquoise. Right, and I didn't add this till the end, but I decided to add some of this blue foil because I thought it tied in the blues. Um, so I just dabbed that where they meet. Right, and then no product on my brush. I'm going to go over where they meet and just softly tickle them out. This is the fluffy brush I used to do the blending with no product on, but I've still got a little bit of blue on from doing it before. And I'm just gonna softly tickle the edges, because even though I did a soft blend, I don't wanna just sort of plunk it on and leave it. Right, then I'm gonna go in with a gel liner. This is from Blush Tribe. It just says 30 on the back, but it's this really gorgeous purple shade. I don't know if she still does it because embarrassingly enough I don't know how long I've had this yeah. I've never opened this is the first time I've opened it so it's all right but if not don't try this at home kids <laughs> then I'm going to go in with a pigment from dumb, Blog Pig dumb blonde glitters on Instagram and it's called bougie and I don't know if my camera will focus enough to show you, but it's just a gorgeous purple. I'm going to use this to set that purple that I've just done in my waterline. So I'm going to go back in to the BH Cosmetic palette and I'm going to take the teal shade. I'm taking it on a Spectrum A13 brush. So now I'm going to go in with the pale blue again, my kit call, my precise crease brush, you know I like this one, and I'm going to run that so it goes over the um, turquoise, but I'm just going to run that along here, and then no additional product, I'm just going to take it all the way underneath and bring it round, because I just want to bling, bling, I just want to bring that blend all underneath. I thought that the bottom line needed a bit extra 
extra just to tie in that purple. So I'm going to take this dark purple from the BH Cosmetics palette on an angled spectrum A14 brush. I think it's actually meant for your brows. No additional product on the flat shader brush, I'm just going to smudge it in. Taking the highlighting shade out of the BH Cosmetics palette, I really wanted a shade that was just a shimmer white. I've used such a pale pink there, I didn't want to use anything that sort of detract from that, if you know what I mean. So I'm going to take that on a flat mini shader brush by um, My Kit Co. And I'm taking it quite out. You can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to go do the rest of my face and then I'll be back to show you the final look. So guys, that is the finished look, what do you think? I had a moment where I thought to myself, this ain't gonna work, this, I'm just looking ridiculous, but I think it came together really, really well. Um, I love how it came out and I just, I just think it's pretty and I'm really digging this sort of softer cut vibe. Um, although, people say it's easier to do, I actually think it's harder. Not because it's harder, but I think I'm very structured in what I do, so it's been really, really nice to practice. Anyway, I'm waffling. Um, I do want to talk to you a minute about these lashes. I did film trying them on, but my battery went um, because I've got not the branded batteries and they do not last. It's just ridiculous. Anyway, these are the Land of Lashes Foam Ink in the style Captivate and they are stunning. Um, absolutely beautiful, really easy to put on. The reason I wanted to mention it is because I was kindly gifted um, some more of these by um, falseeyelashes.co.uk. Now, I am not being paid to mention them, I am not being sponsored by them, I am not being anything like that. They've literally gifted me some lashes, and um, I just thought I'd mention it on here because they have a code. This is just a generic code that everyone gets, and it's called all capital letters LASH10. It gets you 10% off the site, and it's I think it's free UK shipping um, regardless of price. I know when I've bought lashes from them before I've spent quite a bit so I knew I got free shipping but I'm pretty sure it was on anything. Um, so yeah, um, I will link the code down below. I don't gain anything from that, it's just a generic um, code. I asked them when um, they emailed me if I could have a code to give to you. Not like as a, an affiliate code but just like have they got any discount codes. So I just wanted to mention like I say the lashes because like they are so pretty. They, like I say these are called Land of Lashes. Um, on Twitter and Facebook they're called Land of Lashes UK. On Instagram they're called Land of Lashes. But yeah they are really really stunning. After the Made of May series I will be doing a lash try on with these so look out for that. And obviously I've got uh, a few more weeks left of this um, series so that you can guarantee that they will be coming out to play anyway. Um, if you have enjoyed this video do give me a big thumbs up let me know what you think down below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and press the bell um, it would mean the world to me and don't forget to check me out on twitter instagram and facebook they are all bubbly Rex beauty and if you see this look on my instagram don't forget to tag falseeyelashes.co.uk just so that they can see that i am using it and that you are um, checking them out i know that was a lot of waffle there um i am gonna go now <laughs> I promise. Um, and I will see you tomorrow for another video. Bye guys!